But oh gosh. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, that is hot. Oh no. What is up guys? Hey, I'm gonna show you today an insane new way to use crayons. That's gonna rekindle your childhood love of crayons. Oh, they're upside down. It's okay. They're still crayons. Recently, a couple friends of mine, including my wife and my buddy Josh, have sent me the exact same video of this guy using a hot gun, glue gun, hot gun, what the heck, and crayons. But he's putting the crayons through the glue gun. What? I saw it, it blew my mind, and I was like, I gotta try that. So that's what we're here to do. I got all this stuff from the dollar store. Like, I don't know how many crayons it's gonna take, so I got a bunch of them. I mean, they're a dollar a box, and well, a dollar 25 a box. It's not the dollar store anymore, it's the dollar 25 store. Not to mention, this guy right here from the dollar store is nowhere close to a dollar 11. Since when does the dollar store carry anything other than the dollar stuff? To get started, I'm gonna take and spray paint a fade on this, like a dark color, so, I, so the colors will pop. I really think in my mind that's gonna work and it's gonna look good, so that's what I'm gonna do. So let's do it. And while that's drying, before we can use these things, we gotta peel them. So I might be here a while. Jeez. Now the unicorn color man, whatever his name is, the guy in the video, put his in the freezer for like hours and then brought them out and they just shoop, slid right out. But I'm not that patient and I want to do it now. And besides, like who wants frozen crayons? Like that's, that sounds dumb. I'm thinking, I just want to see like how hard is it to actually push out? Oh, it moved. It moved a little bit. Oh, it's not that hard. It'll be hard if I do 500 of these things. How, oh, oh no. Darn, I broke it. Well, maybe we'll try our X-Acto knife. Like a surgeon. I hope this works. Let's see, let's see, will it peel? Oh, that's so easy. Why would you put them in the freezer for hours when you could just do that? That may be a little bit longer than pushing it up, but you want cold frozen crayons, do that. It's kind of satisfying to peel it off. So if you want to do it this way, just, just be careful. Oh gosh, I almost cut myself. Oh boy. Two hours later. There. <laughs> Last one. I took way longer than I expected. If I ever peel another crayon, I'll probably, I'll probably do it again. Really, it's not that bad. It just took forever. And now, um, I think I wanna put these in a nice satisfying order right here, like this. There, that wasn't that hard, was it? That actually took a long time, really, that too. Everything takes forever. But how perfectly, not a single one out of place. I'm leaving that there for you, because it triggers you and you can't stand that that purple is right there with the yellow, but that's where it's staying, L deal with it. All right, our next step is to get our painted canvas. Now we have to doodle a little picture, and what I thought of was like bright, colorful contrasts on this dark surface. I uh, used different colors in there, so I'm just gonna sketch it. Hmm, I can't see a dang thing. Okay, how am I supposed to? Oh, I have an idea, I'll be right back. All right, maybe this will work. This thing is probably older than my kids, but it's called a Stabilo pencil, and hopefully, oh yeah, oh yeah, look, you can see that really good. Look at that Stabilo white. Look at that, perfect, yes. Okay, we're still moving forward here. This is what my drawing looks like. Like that, ooh, ain't that pretty? Look at that beautiful flower, it's just white. And I did little dots here because I want to do different colors, like, like a gradient of dots. More over here, I'm gonna try and blend and make smooth. I really don't know what I'm doing. It might not even work, but we're ever gonna figure it out. We need this. All these things are always so impossible to open packaging. Oh, that's got bad news right all over it. Hold on. This is way, this feels way safer. Oh, almost cut the cord like a newborn. There. All right. Well, that was out hard enough. So, the guy in the video, Unicorn Color Therapy? I thought it was theory, but I read it again that says therapy. He cuts this whole part off right here. I'm sure there's a reason he did it. I don't know why, but he did it, so I'm gonna do it too, very carefully. Oh boy. All right, I'll see you in a couple years. Oh, you better watch one. Okay, I think we're finally ready. Rayon, Rayon. 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 
Anyway, I'm a little apprehensive to jump right into this. Yeah, I know, that's a big word. I learned it on Full House from Uncle Jesse. So I got a little cute little baby canvas. We're gonna try and throw molten crayon all over. Don't worry, little guy, it only hurt a lot. Blue's my favorite color. I'm just gonna take this blue, shove it in there and see what happens. It's just keeping on going. I guess I need another one to push it with. All right, that should be it, right? Is there anything coming? Nothing. I'm pushing, like where's the crayon at? Well, I'm gonna push this one all the way through too before I get anything out of the front. Okay, well there's crayon in there that's hot. I push, I literally pushed that all the way in there. There's nothing coming out, dude. Wow, let's get the third crayon. Good thing I skimped 4,000 crayons. Filled all these, not, oh well, where'd it go? Oh, it is melting in there, but it's not coming out. Oh my gosh, what have I done to this thing? It's literally coming out the back. What in the, that's not. How it's supposed to work. You're supposed to come out the front. Don't be stubborn. No! Oh! Uh, something came out. Did you see that? It was just like poo did. How the crap am I going to control this to draw a picture, dude? The guy like, do 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 made it look so easy. Bro, it's literally not melting. Any oh, there it comes. You gotta give it some for Oh! It's peeing. It's peeing blue. This is so... Awkward because I got to hold it with two hands like this. This is come over here. There we go It it decides when it wants to come out on its own I have no control of when it comes out like I want it to come out. There it is any day now Put oh, there we go You gotta be really patient. Oh, this is killing my finger. Look at that Ouch wait. I want to try something All right three Hold on, come on. I need you to get down here. I want you to see. But I feel like this will look cool if it works. Let's see. I'm going to give it a good heave ho. Ready? Three, two. Mm. Oh, that was kind of sick. Oh, look at that design. Okay, I can see that working for me. Yeah, okay. I think I've destroyed this. I don't want, sheesh, I don't want to waste any more crayons. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Literally, that's all I can push in there. It's a lot nicer and easier pushing with the pencil. I really feel like, oh my gosh. Oh, my pencil, get, oh my gosh. Okay, maybe not so far in with the pencil. All right, I think that's enough practice. Let's get and mess up, I mean, get to the big guy. Poor pencil, he never saw it coming. And this fine piece of modern art will be on sale at the website for $4,000 <laughs> in a museum somewhere. That's about, I mean, that's literally how they do. So I think I'm going to start with a teal color. I kind of just want it on the end, so that makes sense. Just start on the ends. Oh, there we go. This is so hard to control. Come on, get out of there. You know you want to come out. Oh, there we go. Still got that blue color. I'm just dragging the tip of this all in. I don't even know if you're supposed to do that. That's probably bad technique. Let's do this side while we got it. Come on. Oh, I broke it. Dang it, I broke the crayon. Okay, okay, okay. If it would just be consistent... Like it comes out and then it stops. I'm pushing so hard. There we go. I feel like I'm going to get you a better angle in just a second. Might be on the floor or something here. Probably not. It's kind of pretty, honestly. Wow, my hands are tired. Oh gosh, I made a mess. That kind of looks cool though. I think my technique might be getting better. It's really hard to tell. I just wish there was more consistency with this dripper thingy. Okay, that kind of looks cool. I'm gonna try to switch my colors. What color I wanna do next? I think I wanna do um, purple. I'm trying to do a fade here. It's purple. You picked a really not so easy picture to do your first one, dude. Oh, oh gosh, I forgot that color comes out first. Let's make this one thicker. Give it some 3D texture. There we go, ooh, that's nice. Okay, now I need another purple because I shoved the purple in. No purple yet. Ooh, that's pretty cool with the little, with the little swirly. Ooh, that's nice. Whoa, that is kind of cool. Let's try to get a little bit of swirly on all. Oh, well, another crayon. Jeez, these crayons. Oh, I'm dripping everywhere. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing. I broke my crayon. All right, next color. <laughs> I had to go empty my camera off, which I use my phone. But oh gosh. This thing made a mess over here to the side. Wow, this is like, why is this one so watery? I guess because it was so hot while I was doing the other stuff. Try to be quick. 
but it would seem that you need to kind of plan ahead when deciding to switch colors because it takes a while to clean out. So I'm going to lighten up the oranges a little bit now because I want to go lighter and end up kind of yellow on the inside, I guess. I mean, that's what I'm going for. Who knows what's going to happen? I love the swirly mix look. It's pretty cool. Okay, I think I got it now. It's literally impossible almost to go from purple to yellow because it's such a mixed, ugly color, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like brownie, yuck, whatever. Oh, whoops, what is that? A chunk of something fell off of there. It's starting to halfway look decent. Fine, oh gosh, finally. I'm gonna cover some of this ugly up with the nicer yellowy orange, oops. Ooh. Oh, now you want to come out. Oh gosh, my pencil's stuck. What is going on over here? I don't even know anymore about my picture here. Oh, I forgot about this one up here. There we go. Just dribble. Now for the last bit of highlights. Maybe if that's what you want to call it. Ooh, that, did you see how nice that went? Where you been the whole time, buddy? It's just like a nice little stream. There he goes again. Ooh, white. White works really nice, bro. Yes, sir. He almost covered Mr. Little Flower Dude. All right, now we're going to try to salvage this thing and do some leavage or whatever you call it on the, the bottom part here. I'm a patient person for ha half the part. This is, oh, what was that? Get out of here, what are you doing? <laughs> this is taking too long. I feel like I'm getting better control. This is weird looking up here, I kinda like it. I believe I'm just gonna give up on trying to do these little dots with this thing. So now we're gonna try to go a little lighter fade out here and finish off the leaves. I want a, like a, a green to light green fade there. All right, and now, Got my leaves done. I'm kind of satisfied with it. I ain't, I ain't mad. I don't hate it, you know. But I'm going to do my, try to make a straight line and do my, I don't know what these things are called in the middle. They're little antennas. Oh, geez. I broke it. Keep breaking the crayon. Oh, boy. That is not a line. Worst thing about this, like I have no idea when this is coming out. And I did this whole picture, I still don't know when they're coming out. That looks all right from a distance. Bro, really? Why are you supposed to come out the front, not the back? Look at this, that's a disaster. Wonder what the return policy is. All right, now that is not <laughs> at all what I had in mind, but the outcome is pretty decent. But I'm gonna see if we can salvage this piece with a little bit of shading from my brand new airbrush. If you wanna get your hands on one of these, link in the description, they're available on my website. So let's try to salvage this thing and make something. I'm not even sure if you'll be able to see this on this because it's so bumpy and textury. I feel like I salvaged it pretty good. I did a little airbrushing, you know, you saw that. What you didn't see, I'm gonna add a little accent with the Pashka markers, you know what I'm saying? You see a few little shoo shoo shoo. I feel like that did the trick. From the farther away you get, the better it looks. All right, I was gonna end the video right there, but I know a lot of you are like, but what about that scroll we saw at the beginning? Yeah, fine, here it is right here. But I'm not gonna do it with this thing right now. Oh, that's still hot. That's hot, that's hot. Okay, I'm not doing it with that. I'm gonna do it a more faster, more funner way. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> did you see that?